Alright, hey, I want to make a video for those out there who might be trying to decide between some different mic stands. I was looking for some videos and couldn't find much, so I ordered a few of them to try out. Mostly stuff that was suggested on forums and wanted to see what I thought about them. So, the first one is this Tama MS-205. That's this one right here. The second one is a DR Pro boom stand and the third one is a K&M 210 slash 9 so the price difference on all of them is uh, this one the Tama is $69.99 the DR Pro is $69.99 normally however they go on sale quite often and I got it for $54.99 so that's pretty common like they've been on sale for a while the K&M is the most expensive at $92.99. So a fair price difference if you think this one is, you know, picking up on sale, 50, 55 bucks versus $92. Now, one thing is the K&M, you can buy like replacement parts for it. It's, you know, they're a company that specialize in these types of things. So they have replacement parts. The DR Pro, I think, is owned by Guitar Center, and I don't think they have as much as far as that goes, um, so that would be one disadvantage. The Tama, I'm not really sure. Uh, that's a drum company, so they might have replacement parts. I'm not 100% sure, but let's uh, get into it a little bit. As far as <clears throat> weight goes, the Tama is 7.1 pounds. The DR Pro is 8.1, and the K&M is 6.8. So the K&M is the lightest, then the Tama, then the DNR Pro is the heaviest. As far as build quality goes, I would say I prefer the K&M the most. Followed by the DR Pro, and then the Tama last. The thing about the Tama, I'm not crazy in love with is this part right here uh, this part is actually plastic so this section right here is is plastic and it where you clamp in here when you tighten this it, it's plastic uh, it feels like so I kind of doubt the reliability of this super long term could be wrong I mean they're all new um, I've never really used much Tama stuff like this um, I have had a DR Pro and a K&M for that um, I bought used that uh, were probably maybe 10 years old and the K&M still worked perfect the DR Pro still worked pretty well um, not quite as well it 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 was a little tight on this, the 10-year-old one. Um, so I would say as far as longevity, the K&M is the best uh, that I know of. The Tama, I'm not really 100% sure, but I have some doubts because of that. The build quality on the DR Pro seems really good. It's, it's all metal. Um, you can see here it's got a metal center and there's two rubber discs on either side of it how you tighten down now tightening this you know sometimes it's a little hard it's not bad but there's not a lot to grip on to there um, it's got metal there it's it's pretty much all metal it's heavy too it's the heaviest um, <clears throat> the K&M so you can see it's very similar to the DR Pro it's got a larger metal center there and two rubber discs on either side this is all metal, and uh, it just feels really, really good. Um, feels really quality. Now, as you can see, one big difference is the Tama is actually, it is a single bar, um, and it is the longest. It's very long. Both the DR Pro and... The K&M are a two-piece system, so you've got 
a single piece here that slides back and forth and then you've got a secondary piece which goes to a very thin piece right here it extends quite long as well and the k &M, same exact way here you can see it extends quite far and so I would say these two are definitely uh, better in to some extent if you needed something that was a little smaller when you set up um, because if you set this up you see it's only sticking out about a foot behind if you needed a short something close um, whereas the Tama you know if you needed something close and you didn't have much space I mean look how much you have sticking out the back there that's like two and a half feet um, so definitely that's one disadvantage um, although the bar would be very sturdy <clears throat> I could see this being good for something you needed to like maybe an overhead that you want to get over a drum kit and you needed a lot of length. This is definitely the longest and it is sturdy. Like if you tighten it, let's see if I can tighten it here. If you tighten it, I mean, it is sturdy. It's not, it's not drooping or, or lowering in it at all. So that's nice. Um, as far as the lengths of these sticking straight out from the bar, I would say the K&M is right around two feet, maybe just a smidgen over. The DR Pro can extend about another inch, 25 inches. And the Tama goes to about 28 inches so fair fair bit longer on that one as far as height goes we have the K&M from the ground it's looking like just under 69 68 and three quarters the DR Pro is looking like 68 a little bit shorter and the Tama is actually quite a bit shorter at about 65 65 inches as far as the feel and just moving them around and adjusting them I must say the K&M feels by far the smoothest. This one's got a weird thing where it won't go all the way down. It's like a spring rubber, I don't know, something in the bottom keeping it from going all the way down. Um, yeah, I will say the K&M just feels a little bit of a step up. However, it is $90 compared to... You know, realistically, you probably buy this DR Pro for 55 So, at that point, um, this Tam Tama being 70 this, say you got it for 55 and this for 90 I definitely would probably not get the Tama just because of the plastic, because of the one bar. You know, in some instances, that might be an advantage, but I kind of prefer the two bar. Um, just makes it tuck tucks it in a little bit and makes it a little more sleek to me um, the overall build quality on the Tama seems the worst DR Pro seems second best and the K&M seems like the absolute best K&M like again I said you can order replacement parts and it's going to last you I think probably the longest it feels the smoothest feels best but if you're on a budget Honestly, you could almost get two of these DR Pros, and they are really solid. They're a little heavier, a little clunkier, slightly, but they're still really good. So I would say if you want the absolute best in this price range, under 100 bucks, the K&M. If you want the best value for money, probably the DR Pro on sale. Get two of them for 110 versus $93.
That is just my opinion, of course, and hopefully this helps somebody.